Holly Creek Goods out of Texas in the United States is a new up and comer in the world of handmade wallets and their Lux wallets are visually engaging along with being very functional in design. This one is a great one to look at. So let's get into it. Of course it came in a box, but it also comes in this bag. It's almost kind of a burlap ish in what you feel. What I really like is since this is a custom made wallet, you can specify the design. Of course, this is the Lux. It also has a main and secondary leather color and thread, and you can choose all of those. So let's get in and take a look at what we have. Hmm, nice touch. Craft sleeve there. Let's slip it out. Oh boy, look at this. This is awesome. Russet, olive green, and the thread is olive green. This is awesome because this is going to develop a patina over time that's gonna be just excellent. Now, Hunter Harkin, he is the owner, operator, and maker of every wallet. And it's uh, this is just really nice to see. So let's get a quick look at things like the threading and some of these cuts. And this threading, which we'll talk about a little bit later, is not easy to do. The sewing is not easy to do, especially right here, which we'll discuss. Look how even on this quick access slot here that it's uh, sewn, it's not just a, a slit in the leather. And you can see the multiple layers that's in here. Oh, and looky here. So we open this up just briefly. Oh, here we go. More stuff. Nice uh, card from Hunter. Look at this. The, here I have this olive green leather as an accent along with the front strap. Uh, this is really neat. Oh, what do we have here? First time leather wallet purchase. Okay, this is nice and I wish all leather makers, and most of them do, would pr provide something like this. If you don't know how leather operates, you really need to do that, uh, understand that, because it helps you understand the, the benefits you're gonna get from the wallet, how it performs, and not be surprised when you think something is wrong, it's actually what you would expect. All right, look at this. This thing is sewn everywhere. And look at the reinforcement that we have in these places here. Also, you can see the how this is reinforced and sewn around in several places. Most wallets will see that right at the top, but we see this everywhere you could possibly have something pull apart through use. This is going above and beyond in my mind for sewing and reinforcement and trying to really guarantee that this will last you a lifetime. Feels great, oh boy. Yeah, smell that. Okay, fine, I was getting ahead of myself. In. Oh yeah, oh, that smells so good. And the squeakiness of the leather, love that. I think we're gonna really like this one. Now to the feature review of the Willowcraft Goods Lux Wallet. Now on the exterior, we have this flap right here, this exterior flap. It is a security mechanism, of course, to keep things from falling out. I don't have a problem with flaps, generally. I, re I really don't if they're done well. I think this is done well. If we go to the rear, we'll notice that we have a quick access card slot. This is great. Again, I'll always harp on this. Quick access card slots. We should always use them when we can. We move into the interior of the wallet, opening the flap. On the front, well, we, we see this insert leather here uh, piece, and it provides two additional card slots, one right here in the front, and another one right behind it here. Behind that is where you have cash. And we'll show how this works in the cash uh, and card insertion test, but cash goes in here, and we'll show you that it can work either folded once, or I think it can even work as a cash wrap. And that is a quick review of the features of the Willow Craft Goods Lux Wallet. Now onto that card and cash insertion test. As you saw, I got six cards in there and anywhere from you know four, five to six or seven slips of cash. And the most exciting thing about this is that all currencies fit. I don't care whether it's that 100 or 200 euro note or the yen, they all work. 
Uh, I'm done testing the 50 pound sterling note because it's just not used much anymore, at least not daily uh, from those I speak with over in the UK. It's reasonable on this is probably four, seven is okay. The company recommends up to 12 cards or more. Um, Hunter mentions that depending if you carry less cash and more cards, you can get a whole lot up there. Now, what I enjoy about this flap is that it demonstrates to you that it increases your cards as the wallet stretches out. Let me explain that. One of the things about this wallet is that it is a little wider than a normal wallet. That is demonstrated by the cash that we're able to get in here and how it fits all currencies, including you know, these 150 you know, euro notes here that we have. And, but what that also facilitates is that as you get more cards, they kind of spread a little bit more and increases the capacity. It's, it's still an issue of, of physics that we're, that we're looking with here, and it, you're not really getting more for less. It's just a matter of distribution of cards, very similar to other wallets that we've seen in the past. Coming back to the currency a little bit, it fit the euros as we noticed. And the other thing that most people probably don't recognize here is that you can actually put your currency in sideways. You don't necessarily have to put them with the fold down, either up or down. Let me show you a little bit. And then we'll talk about how this can work as, I think, a cash wrap more so than just a, a one where you fold your cash. So I have these currency here, these US dollars. Most of the time you're placing dollars in this way. This, because of its width, you can actually put it in like this and it works, which is fascinating. Now, one of the things that is nice uh, to know as well is that if you have a lot of cash in here, and let's say that we're just gonna add a, a wad of, of dollar bills in here, and this would apply to any currency since it works, is you have this bulb at the bottom where you have the fold. And sometimes that can inhibit what you're doing by way of access in the bottom. Well, right here, he's left extra room in the bottom here so you can actually get your cash in there and it provides that, that room. It's really quite nice. Another design piece in here is that if you can see this, these back cards, they have a separate piece of leather here but they then pass through into the back. That helps reduce the bulk of this wallet, uh, the thickness, but it also provides the ability, I mean, cash slides in, slides out. There's no interference between the two. Nice thinking here. So if we grab cash like we did before, and it doesn't matter how much it is, instead of folding it, you can actually just tuck it in here, goes in very nicely, and I'm telling you, this can work as a cash wrap. It's, it, it does work that way. Um, if you like to have cash wrap versus folding it, this can function. This really can work that way for you. You can decide how you want to approach this, but I think it can work as a cash wrap just as well as folding and putting it in here. Hunter Harkin is the owner and operator and he's out of Texas. Every part of this wallet, like other similar makers, they do it all by hand, including cutting, uh, beveling, you know, a lot of these things, especially cutting, are eas more easily done with a clicker press. But when you do it by hand, it really just means you're committed to the process. And what, it, it may look like it is a, a difficult process, and it can be. If you go to their website, he'll show you an ex accelerated video of how he does this. And we can see even down to the burnishing of the edges that these are burnished. And you know, every piece of leather before he puts it together or even after has a burnish on it. There are a lot of pieces of leather involved here. Again, an exercise in perfection and ensuring this will last a long, long time and look good. Of course, it's made from a full grain veg tan leather and he uses different tanneries depending on the colors, the feel, the outcomes that he's looking for in the particular wallet. Tanneries, for example, he works with would be uh, Wicket and Craig, uh, Industrial Conseria, uh, Conseria La Perla Asura, uh, Badalasi Caro, and one we're often familiar with, uh, Conser Concertia, uh, Concertia Wapier, right? The colors are very rich. The combinations are amazing that you can do as you order this wallet. And one thing that stands out to me is the quality and the extensive nature of his sewing. I I'm talking about this. Uh, he, he uses, uh, it's a Vinimo uh, thread. I've not heard of that before, but it's used all through this incredibly tight and how it's sewn together. It looks great. And he just pushes all of this forward as he sews. And these are thick pieces of leather and he does this by hand. That is really, really uh, amazing. And then on the back piece, this is the last piece he sews on all of his wallets. And because of that, after all this is done, he can't just put a needle through with the sharp edge. He has to put the needle through with the eyelet piece. And then he has a piece of, he has tweezers and he actually then begins moving this through to make this happen. That is a ton of work and a lot of effort. 
and it just goes to show that he's doing what's necessary to make this a great looking, working, in addition to feeling wallet. It's priced for $99. That's the made to order. He does have some for $94 in pre-made color combinations. One of the usability things I love about this and the thoughts I had is that I mentioned is that it's a little wide. It's, it is wider than normal and it works well for currencies for sure, as we talked about, and it can expand with more cards that we discussed. Uh, if we really look at the back, we can notice how the card slot right here is about an eighth of an inch taller than the internal slots. So you get kind of a step down going in here. That facilitates what we saw earlier with this opening here so that cards stay out of the way and allow for cash to be put in there, like we mentioned, so you can get more cash if you want, if you are a less card, more cash kind of person. Speaking of size, by way of measurements, it is 3.9 by 3.6, just barely off and 0.6 in, in its uh, height and its depth, thickness, and it weighs 63 grams. Now you might be surprised that Willowcraft Goods started up in just 2020. Think about that. It's obvious Hunter had been wanting to do this for quite some time and he had thoughts and designs in his mind and obviously the craftsmanship he's, he's demonstrated just didn't come because he just started in 2020. He's been kind of fiddling with this for quite some time and he's gotten into it full time since then and he's really got a lot of years of experience already on him before starting this just last year. So now let's get on to the final score. For quality of five, price of three, uh, this isn't expensive because it's all handmade. You get to choose what you want. So that's where I put this one. Features of four, usability of four, and perception of five. This is an excellent wallet. Uh, we're giving a final score of 43 out of 50. Getting right there towards the top. Uh, I think it's uh, very much warranted in this particular wallet. Go check them out. I think you will decide that it may seem a little wide, but you can work with that. We'll see you in the next review. Thanks for being with us. Bye.